Hey, Scott from Aristocob.com here. Seth from TheShrinkingPastor.com. Together, the three of us, we are fighting the wind and trying to get our pipes lit. <laughs> I've had success. Today we are smoking Tabak Ladle Own Mixture Number 6. The, That's probably wrong, but... The famous Fruit Loopy. Fruit Loopy German tobacco. It's delicious, as always. And being the great cinematographers that we are, we have the light behind us, and so... There is that. <laughs> Alright, so... Uh, the reason why this is a bit more thrown together than what we usually do is because we're on a time crunch. Homer has a dinner he needs to get to in about oh, two minutes. and uh, But I insisted that we record right now because I need to play with what's in these boxes. <laughs> we mentioned this a couple weeks ago, and it has arrived. Uh, what we have here... Wait, oh, we got a thing. Got me yabo, got me yabo, got me yabo. Hey, 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 hey. I could leave now. <laughs> so inside of this box, we have a spool of gray 3D printing filament, a spool of orange 3D printing filament. What good is that? Well, the good that is, is inside of this box, it better be. Wow. So that is a, a half size spool. A 0.5 kilogram. So this is sold by weight as opposed to length. Yeah. So a kilogram is 2.2 pounds, is half of that, so about a pound and a hair. So this is the Monoprice Select Mini Version 2 3D Printer. MP Select Mini Version 2. Now this is the first run release. I got printer number 870 out of a thousand. So I was watching like a hawk. They have a support group online on Facebook. And one of the... Is that uh, for the people who don't get one? Yep. <laughs> one of the people who works for Monoprice, who manufactures this, um, is a member there, helps with support there as well. And uh, he was kind enough to let people in the community know that the site had gone live a full day before mm. they released it otherwise. Um, they kind of want that first user feedback from the nerds who understand a little bit and already have version one. We'll just say this one. Okay. Probably isn't. There are things in the side pockets here. Nope. Hey. Aw, oh, it's so cute. There it is. Fully assembled. Um, now here's the thing with 3D printers. Uh, this is the first version of this. Version one of this is incredibly highly rated. Um, people talk about it all over the internet. But the thing with 3D printers that people need to understand is they haven't yet reached the place where they perform perfectly out of the box. So this is a hobbyist um, uh, product and um, there have been some people complaining on the forums that are new to 3D printing about how uh, it just isn't living up to their expectations. A couple of the things that right out of the box they would say, um, I feel like I should return this uh, this about. Um, now, they're, they're production things, and some people have said that's, that's valid, right? You, you, you buy something new, you want it to work as advertised. And um, you know, one of the things is that this build plate um, has been warped on the, on the the build plate has been warped on some of the units, um, and the, the guy who works for the company came in and, and said, "Look, we're cranking these things out as, as fast as we can, and the thing with this plate is it's pretty small, and they're going to be prone to warping. It's going to happen. Um, so what is cool about this community?" is that the Monoprice, the MP Select Mini community in particular, 
has a ton of mods, things that just tweak this better. There are breakdowns available online, uh, very, very common mods. Like one of, one of the most common is the, the glass mod where you take a, essentially a printer, uh, a, a, a picture frame, piece of glass and put it on top of the build plate. And then your, uh, that helps um, with warping. You don't have warping issues. Um, you, you strap it down. It makes it easier to remove the, the print once it's done. I saw a mod that was just to hold the spool of filament wire. Yeah. Filament. Yeah. So, and, and the coolest thing about it is the mods that are designed for the printer, you print on the printer. So you're printing upgrades for your printer. So with the, the version one, the uh, one of the biggest complaints is the knob, uh, the control knob down below was, was recessed. Um, and so one of the very first things a lot of people would do is they would print a new knob. Well, this one um, has been changed. And so what they've done with version two is they've taken the biggest complaints and the biggest mods from the modding community and integrated many of those into this new version. Now, not all of them. Um, they, they say that they can't justify the cost of everything, but um, a lot of the, the things that are the, the biggest, biggest complaints and biggest mods they would do. Some of the mods that you can get for this, you can do a complete teardown and rebuild where you can extend the building platform to, to print larger prints. Um, yep, and the spool goes, we'll go here. I'm just guessing that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and so, you know, what are we gonna use this for? Well, um, I've already got a whole list of, of useless things. Of course, there are toys and things that you can print for kids. Um, I know that my sons will, will absolutely enjoy some of those. Uh, being a gamer, there are all sorts of D&D figures, all sorts of gaming dice towers and things that you can build. You can build things in pieces and then glue them together to, to make larger structures. Um, then there are practical applications. There are hinges and, and gears and uh, some things that can integrate with woodworking projects. Um, or some decorative things that can be printed on it. Um, really, there's for such a small device, what many people who have much larger printers say is they can fit about 90% of what they do on, on this small machine. Now, what I'm attracted to is the idea of using this not only for prototyping things, but um, if you're familiar at all with the jewelry making process of the lost wax process mm -hmm. or investment casting, one of the tricks there is you've got to make a wax original part, which you can then use as your mold for making metal parts. Um, you can do that with a 3D printer. You can make those, those parts. So that yep. to me, th this for my interest is a step in a manufacturing process, not a not a not the ends itself, but the means to the end. Right. Yeah, that's something. That if 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 you've ever heard of the small YouTube channel, the King of Random, uh, Grant Thompson uh, does a lot of reverse reverse mold casting, um, where he'll he'll make something out of wax, melt it off, um, and then use his uh, little uh, backyard forge <laughs> to melt down aluminum. Um, so this is uh, Homer's got to go. I so do. we've got to got to end this here. <laughs> but uh, really excited. Uh, expect to hear us talking about it a little bit as we tinker with it. I already know that before I even plug it in, I'm going to have to go to the store and get some pieces to fix what's probably broken, what's probably not right. So like the glass mod I was telling you about, uh, a lot of the people that have um, some people have gotten theirs uh, the first run. People that are closer to the Canada. Uh, shop have already gotten theirs and been playing with it for the last couple of days and um, ha a lot of them have reported that they're having some small issues um, so this is this is something that is going to be a, a hobby to tinker with and mess with for sure all right so I'm suspecting that the audio from that camera is going to be awful which is why I've been recording with my phone yep. and hopefully the audio from one or the other is going to work out uh, if not Hey, we did what we could. <laughs> That's right. Thanks for joining us. I hope this was interesting to you. We're not gonna spend a lot of time in the future with this, but or at least with this on the channel. But if something interesting happens, you can uh, bet that we're gonna share it with you. So yeah. thanks for joining us. Make it a great week and talk to you again next week. See ya.